<laughs> Good evening. And welcome to episode two of Grandpa's Kitchen. Where we will be making, he reads the book, chocolate chip cookie dough pots for dessert. Okay, so we need to start with some dry ingredients, don't we? Yes. Okay, so we need, let's just have a look, we need 150 grams of plain flour. Yes. And we need some salt, half a teaspoon, and we need some bicarbonate of soda in a bowl. Oh, sorry, the bicarbonate of soda is here. That's the back of the tin. This is the front of the tin. So we're going to measure that out and put it into the bowl. And yes. Phoebe will lightly fork the mixture together. So we have a 150 plain flour in our bowl. 150 grams going into the bowl. Come here. So, are we having a half a teaspoon? Would you like to hold that for me? And I will try and... Or are we back? And we'll say that's about it. Tip that in. And we also need from bicarbonate of soda, which is also half a teaspoon. Same measure, which is... Not that one. That one? Okay, hold that for me please. And um, if you will, if I scoop out, will you tip in? Yes. Yeah? Oh. There's a half, you tip in. Thank you much, Lee. Now Phoebe will fork this together as per a good friend Nigella's recipe. Our dry ingredients together. There, and we are now going to put some wet ingredients together, and we need to try and get, he says, um, some 110 grams of unsalted butter, which is sort of like that. I'll just check it. Are you ready to check? We'll just zero that. Same. We have washed our hands beforehand, and that is roughly. Ooh, it's all sticky. 130. Three grams over. Yeah. Three for luck. Be fine. Won't it? So that is going in the wet bowl. In the same wet bowl, we also have to have some sugar. <laughs> 85 grams. Sugar. If I pour, will you check? Yes. 85. 85. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh. Ooh. Overcompensation. We'll get a spoon, shall we? Yes. A hundred. 91, 81, put a little back in, 85, 87, 82, 84, 85. Let's go. Okay, so we have our butter that we have cut up, so that makes it easier. We're going to add our... Sugar. Which is 85 grams? Yeah, 85 grams. 85 grams of sugar going in, very exact, because we're very precise, aren't yes. we? And we're going to cream that together. We're having to take you over to the other work surface for the moment to cream. Yeah. We're just going to check that our assistants have prepared this correctly because we don't want this to break. break. <laughs> and we're creaming. And then after this, we're going to add, what do we have there, Phoebe? In the egg bowls, we have some, and mix it up with some vanilla. We have vanilla. Excellent. And we will add that together, sure. That this like, is Phoebe. It looks like scrambled eggs. Okay, so we have a nice light and creamy mixture, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're now going to add... Vanilla. And how much do we need of that? Vanilla. 
we have one teaspoon. So would you hold the vanilla? And I shall get the teaspoon ready. These measures are very, very useful. Would you care to pour a teaspoon into the uh, measure there? All of that, yeah. Just pour it into that until it's full. A little bit more. Wee bit more. Little spit. Yeah, ah, there we go. That's it. That's fine. You can never have enough vanilla. <laughs> Excuse me. And we're also going to be. Vanilla just smells amazing. It does, isn't it? And we'll beat an egg in as well. So we'll crack an egg. And then we'll do a bit more whisking. Yes. So we are now at the stage of combining yes. dry and not so dry. Um, yeah. <coughs> so what Wet. we're going to do is. Phoebe is going to tip a little bit of the dry mixture here into the wet mixture here and we're going to combine it together to make mm -hmm. one solution before we add the chocolate chips. Would you like to tip a little bit, just a little bit, into the, give it a good shake, that's it, because a big bowl. Here we go, a little bit like that, mind your fingers, and we'll incorporate that in. So we'll give it a bit of a mix. That's starting to look a bit more like cookie dough. Cookie dough, isn't it? And that's the consistency you're looking for, is a bit like cookie dough, because it is called cookie dough pullets. Mm -hmm. So it will go very dry. I can't wait to add the chocolate chips in. It will be really that's, cool, won't it? That's the best part. <coughs> now, what kind of chocolate chips do we have, Phoebe? So we have milk chocolate chip chunks. And we have dark chocolate chip chunks. And can you, can you use both? Yes, we are going to use them both together unless you want to do six, no, three dark chocolate and three milk chocolate. Because this makes six ports and we can do whatever we like. Would you like to add some more flour into the mix? Yes. Why don't you tip it all in, ready? Okay, so we now have our mixed yes. solution. Yes. Our and cookie dough without the chocolate chips. Minus the chocolate chips. <laughs> so we are actually we're breaking from our good friend Nigella. Lovely yes. woman, isn't she? Yes, Lovely she's woman. So nice. Likes a drink well. Mm -hmm. Um we're breaking from convention and we're actually mixing our chocolate and we're gonna have some milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. 170 in total, which is 85 each. So let's just measure out 85. Would you mind watching the dial, my love? Yes. Oh, gone a bit over. 85. No, 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 no. Really? It said 90. 71. 88. There we no, go. 86. 86. Near That's enough. fine. <coughs> so <coughs> we're now moving About up to. to take one away. <laughs> One away for the cooks, eh? So we're going up to 170 now. There! Exactly. Beautiful. Oh, that's 170. It's fine. Meh. Three, we're going to go into The lovely yeah. Feebalicious is mixed together. Um, How much chocolate? Um, 85 of milk and dark. 85 of dark. We're now going to put this into the cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tip that in, Feebalicious? Mm -hmm. All of it. All of it. Let's go for it. Woo! Beautiful, look chocolate. at this. And we're going to just very this gently fold and mix this in because this is our solution can that I is go? gonna you certainly can let's just get it started yeah. and then you can have it's a very gentle mix to keep all the air in there so i tell you what you mix and i will hold the bowl for you because it's a bit it's a bit stiff isn't it it's not too bad i've made, yeah, made cookies before i tell you the muscles in this one ladies and gentlemen are amazing she is mine mountain dean it's because I do running with my school. That's what it is. Mm. She's mixing with her thighs. Can I start? Mm. So we have combined our um, dark chocolate and milk chocolate with our cookie dough. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> Smell? 
vanilla and chocolate. It's Beautiful like smell, it. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's the stuff dreams are made of. Wish you could smell it. It smells amazing. However, it will only be even better when we cook it. So we are now going to divide our cookie dough into six ramekin dishes to cook. Do you wish to hold the ramekin yeah. and I shall spoon? So we take a dollop thereof. We might actually just use the fork here to tease it off like that. And we will look at our cameraman who has made these before. Mm -hmm. And he suggests two dollops hey, thereof. Uh, a bit like that. And what we'll do is we will use a spatula just to smooth it round and level it off a bit like that mm -hmm. it's like a little cake in a way cookie dough cake <laughs> okay so we have now taken a mixture and put them into ramen conditions yeah like this these are now going into a preheated oven that was preheated to 190 degrees centigrade. You see? And we're going to cook that for. Um, this is like a 13, that is, ladies I have and gentlemen. No idea. 13 I'm, to I'm 15 really minutes. I'm sorry, I didn't look. It's because she's drunk. I'm not drunk. She is. And um, we will then enjoy the delights of the chocolate chip cookie dough pots, which can be served with Cornish ice cream and or double clotted cream. Thank you very much. Ooh. Going in. And the timer is being set. So, we're now pulling out the oven. We have six. <gasps> they look like cake. Chocolate chip cookie dough hot pots. They, they look like blueberry muffins. They do, muffins. actually. And these must be served more or less immediately. Yes. And our choice is either Kelly's Closet Ice Cream or a bit of. I think we've got double cream as well. The choice is yours. Double. The ramekins are really hot, so we suggest putting it in a bowl with cream to the side. And that comes to the end of episode two of... Grand Phoebe's Kitchen. We hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.